Um, cool. Let me look at it for one minute. <laughs> <laughs> so this kid is in college. And at the time, I, I it sounds like he's a freshman hmm. because he said he was 19. And while he was there, he went to this college all by himself. Like he didn't have any any friends. Basically, he started mm-hmm. fresh. And while he was there, he had one of his friends and her boyfriend fly out to come hang out for a few days. Mm-hmm. See the city, just be with him. And he was really excited. So they fly into town and they decide to go out into the city. They hit up this this club or something in Chinatown and they meet up with some of his friends that he made while he was in school. And uh, before they went to the club and around the city, they were pre-gaming and he's like new to the whole party scene being 19. He's not of age yet. Yeah. (laughs) So um, he's drinking a little bit. He doesn't get completely blacked out. But he's he's starting to buzz a little bit, and he, he keeps that going for for a while throughout the night. And when they're all done, his friends go to the hotel, and he decides he just wants to go back to his dorm apartment and sleep in his own bed. So he says, "I'm going to catch a cab home." And he doesn't give a specific year from when this happened. He did say Uber just started, but he didn't have the app on his phone. Mm. Um, so what is that? What did you say? Like 2013, 14-ish? I think I it started know. in San Francisco in 2009. Are you effing serious? How do you know that? What are you pulling that out of? Uber. Started. If you're right, I'll be more upset. March 2009. That's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> that just confirms what we just said earlier about our... <laughs> Internet database, <laughs> Sean Gassaway. <laughs> Sean, anyway. if I threw a pack of toothpicks on the ground, would you be able to count them all quick? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I win <laughs> all those Rain, Rain Man, Man those, yeah. <laughs> those gumball games where you guess how many gumballs are in the jar. <laughs> um, not that this super matters, but yeah, he didn't have Uber on his phone. So he, this was like two in the morning. So he walks down to the lobby. There's no receptionist at the counter. Nobody's there. Which he finds kind of weird because it's a, like a fairly nice hotel. In a big city? He doesn't say how big the city it's is. big enough to have a Chinatown. Yeah, I was going to say it has to be at least decent <laughs> yeah. enough to have a Chinatown. Yeah. So he gets to the lobby. Nobody's there. Kind of weird, but it's like whatever. Because he was going to go to the front desk to call a cab. Mm-hmm. Nobody's there, so he just decides to go out on the street. It's early, early in the morning. He's tired. Still kind of buzzing. And he's waiting, doesn't see a single car, doesn't see a single person. And he waits for about 20, 25 minutes when he decides to just start walking back to the school. And he doesn't specify how far away it is, but is this it's Jordan? enough. Is this Jordan's story? <laughs> <laughs> Did this happen in China? Yeah. <laughs> is this Jordan? Like, <laughs> all of China is Chinatown. <laughs> Like it's not Chinatown, Jordan. It's the country it's you're town. in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's town. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um, he starts walking back, and about a couple minutes into his walk, he's crossing the street to go to the other side, and he's like jaywalking. Mm-hmm. And it's then when he notices that there's a man in a coat. With his hands in his pocket and his head down, walking in the middle of the street. What the <laughs> hell? Looking down at his feet while he's walking and whistling. So walking towards this kid who's walking towards the college. You know, uh, he thinks it's kind of weird, but he like instead of like walking diagonally down the street, he like cuts hard straight across so you can just get to the sidewalk mm-hmm. and get out of this man's path that he's walking. And as he's doing that, the man like turns with him. Mm. So he decides to hightail it. Maybe not hightail it. He doesn't run, but he just does a complete 180 and walks the other direction. (laughs) Basically back towards the hotel. At that point, a car comes up. Lights aren't on. Oh, no, dude. It's a black car. 
and he's just thinking i'm screwed right now <laughs> well this is how i die <laughs> yeah. this is where it all ends in town <laughs> but uh he apparently this car crept up on him without him him like really noticing because he just gets out of the way of the car and the car stops right where the driver's side window is and the window rolls down and there's a man and he says to this kid you're looking for a cab aren't you oh no dude and in the milliseconds that he had to you know respond he thought he was going to die <laughs> um, if he didn't take this car. He thought the worst of the two evils was staying with the guy on the street. Oh, okay. So he says, yeah, I'm looking for a cab. And the guy says, get in. He gets in the car. And as they start to take off, the whistling man stops in front of their car. And the man who is driving quickly maneuvers it to like go around Mm -hmm. so they get away from the whistling man okay that takes away one of his problems (laughs) real quick sean you're in that position and you're faced with that choice i'm not getting the car i'm confident enough to beat up the whistling man (laughs) okay (laughs) let's say you had to choose one or the other oh i would pick the whistling man okay because if i'm in the car he starts going at fast speed i have to jump out of the car if i'm trying to get away or i have to attack him in which case i'm in the car and that could be an accident which i'm also hurt in whistling man doug you think about things or something (laughs) yeah (laughs) or (laughs) you have to be all smart (laughs) Sorry if that. No, no, no. You're fine. So he's in the car now, like trying to figure out. Because I'm just thinking he like made a crazy, like he made a huge choice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, He's trying to figure out if this guy is good or bad. Yeah. But this guy's making small talk and he seems nice. And while they're talking, the man says, oh, by the way, you're headed to this college, aren't you? And this kid's not wearing like any... He's not wearing like a sweatshirt with the the college name on it. No Letterman's jacket. No Letterman's jacket. (laughs) No varsity jacket. (laughs) Um, Yeah, nothing like that to show that he was a student, let alone at that specific university or college. And he says, yes. (laughs) Um, So the man says, okay, all right. And it's crazy because the only thing that this kid says about this area is that there's a total of four universities in the area. So, okay, so it's probably like a big, choice. big city. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but the the fact that this man knew which university it was that he was going to. In a big city. Concerning. And that it was yeah. a university he was going to. Yeah. Was strange. But this man is driving towards that university. He's not like driving away from it, which is good to know, but he's still kind of on edge. After some of the small talk, like, you know, What's your name or whatever? <laughs> um, it's just silent in the car. They don't really talk. Chinatown's crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Town's crazy. <Wow. laughs> but uh, as they're about a block away from the university, he decides to tell him, can you just drop me off at the f- like the front of the university? Because he doesn't want to leave him to like the apartment or the dorm that he's staying in. The man says, sure. After that, the man says, you remind me of someone I know. And the kid says, I hope that's a good thing. And he doesn't say anything after that. (laughs) And they're pretty much there at the front of the university. And as he's coming to a stop, the man says, sometimes we're sent exactly what we need at the right time. Don't you agree? And the kid says yes <laughs> I feel like things like that have happened before <laughs> and the man says I don't know maybe like a guardian angel or something and the kid says ha yeah thanks <laughs> Put, uh, pulls out his wallet offers him a $20 bill says thank you the man says no I don't need I don't need that <clears throat> money and he's like are you sure and he says yeah The kid says, thank you. And he gets out of the car and he walks across the street 
right when he gets to the other side of the street, he remembers that he should tell the guy that the street that the guy is on is a dead end if he keeps going. So he wants to tell him to just make a U-turn right there. And he turns around, and there's no car in sight. And he didn't hear this man drive off. He just got out of the car, and the man was gone. And I think from reading that, it was a little refreshing to me. It was like unsettling throughout the whole way. But the fact that he got there without incident and nothing else happened afterwards, that he was able to tell us his story, like live and tell this story. I don't know. Maybe this dude was a guardian angel. But everything about it before that was just like no bueno. <laughs> yeah. I would or, chose... or or Buhao, as you say in Mandarin. <laughs> Not good. I would have chose car so Sean's ass would have been stabbed by the by the man. <laughs> nah, dude. Someone gets close to me, I'm taking him down, bro. What if he was like the size of the rock, bro? If he was the size of the rock, bro? And the fit is the rock. Bro, go for the ankles, bro. It's the Ainga. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Dang, that's wild. You should have gone last. Because <laughs> it was a g- kind of a good story. And we're going to get darker. Yeah. No. <laughs> we're going to start on a good note and on a bad one. That's cool. I like that, though. Yeah. It was fun. I was, like, nervous because, I don't know. Especially the part where <laughs> I thought the whistling man and the car were working with each other. That's 100%. what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> I thought this was some gang, gang <laughs> thing. That's going also down. I like, why That's I wouldn't big. trust the car because, like, I would expect that the guy wanted me to get into the car and that's what they would do, whatever they would do, you know? Like mm-hmm. you're being shepherded to the car almost. Yeah. Like, yep. That's what I, I thought. I ain't no sheeple, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Except for I legitimately followed a crowd of people yesterday <laughs> to someplace I shouldn't be in like line and i was like damn it i'm in the wrong place now were you were you mad at yourself yes i was mad at myself <laughs> I'm a follower. i did forget to mention <clears throat> a huge part of this story <laughs> oh, cool <laughs> this kid knocks out as soon as he gets to the dorm and when he wakes up around noon checks his phone a million missed calls and it's from his friends who are staying at the hotel Mm-hmm. And what had happened is on that street, there was a murder that night, not too long after the hours at which he left the hotel. Damn. And the description of the murder matched the guy, matched the whistling man. Oof. Like he was whistling. They knew it. <laughs> Bro, plot twist. It was homeboy, the college student. Whoa. <laughs> bro whenever i'm like out and about and feel a little nervous i always stop and pick up like a rock bro and like carry it with me until i feel safe 100 percent, bro i do the same thing anytime i'm hiking and like if anything feels wrong i scan everywhere to look for the right size rock yep or anything I it's could always grab. about a baseball size so yeah. that i can Cain enable his ass. <laughs> yeah, bro. I also have like a knife on my keychain that I usually whip out. Yo, sometimes, not sometimes, once in a long while, if I'm feeling super creeped out, like somewhere, the l- most recent one I can think of is at my girlfriend's house. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you creeped out? She asked him to kiss, <laughs> make kisses. We were watching a movie downstairs with a few people and... We heard somebody come inside the house upstairs. We were thinking it was one of her roommates, but from what we knew, like they were out of town. Like one was at (laughs) Disneyland with her family for her birthday and all these weird things. So she's like, can you go check? I was like, yeah, (laughs) yeah, I can. (laughs) I'm strong and brave. (laughs) And I went upstairs and (laughs) because we were in the basement watching the movie. Exactly, bro. So you can't see, but Charles and Sean have their their fists up, their dukes up, dog, <laughs> squaring up, squaring and up. I legit had I had one fist raised, <laughs> just cocked. Yeah, I was, yeah. <laughs> As he opens the door, arm at the ready. You look like the Arthur meme. <laughs> <laughs> I was legit the Arthur uh, and Eater meme. Meme, and uh, I was like taking wide turns around the corners. <laughs> 
and there was nothing and the door was locked. Okay, well, that's scary. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's pretty scary. <laughs> so maybe one of the roommates came real quick and left and locked the door. That's what I'm banking it on. That's what you're hoping. <laughs> yeah. I thought but, you were going to say, like, we thought it was our room, the, her roommates, but they were both sitting on the couch. So, <laughs> Bro, that's terrifying. Mm, but Ugh. came downstairs like, yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> we're good. So why, why is your pants changed, bro? <laughs> Are you crying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just the movie. <laughs> I'm deep. <laughs> yeah, this app definitely needs to be called Memes, though. <laughs> That's when we were watching The Shining. Ooh, uh, so it was like pretty earlier. crept out, too. Yeah. That's dope. 